Okay, so today I'm going to show you how to find the volume of a cylinder. But first thing we have to know what a oh of a cone. Sorry. First thing we have to know what volume is. Volume is the amount of something in an object. Okay, it's really simple, but some people make it harder than it really is. So here is our cone. We we see our radius is 5 centimeters and our height is 15 centimeters. So we now follow our formula for finding the volume of a cone, which is I R squared times height divided by 3. Okay, so the easiest way for me to start is to do r squared, or in this case, our radius is 5, so 5 squared. So you do 5 times 5, and that equals 25. So now we replace the r squared with 25 for our formula. So now we have pi 25 times height divided by 3. Okay, so our next step is to do pi times 25. This can be confusing, so pay close attention. We know our number for pi is 3.14, so we do 3.14 times 25. So, first of all, 4 times 5 equals 20. Carry the 2. 5 times 1 equals 5, plus 2 equals 7. Or a decimal point in there. And 5 times 3 is 15. Carry the 1. And 5 times nothing is nothing, plus 1 is 1. So, then we add our little space here. Since we're going up in to double digit to two, so we do two okay. two times four equals eight. Two times one equals two. What a decimal point! And two times three equals six. Wait, that doesn't look right. Um, there's a mistake with your decimal. So, you know what you need to do is go ahead and take your decimals out. Oops, and you're going to have to go back and fix that that I messed up for you. And we'll deal with the decimal at the end, okay? Okay, so 2 times 1 is 2, and 2 times 3 is 6. Now just add. Is it going to be enough for one of that? Give me a second. Zero plus zero is zero. Seven plus eight is fifteen. Carry the one. And you have five plus two equals seven plus one equals eight. And six plus one equals seven. Now you have two decimal places in your problem, so you need two decimal places in your answer. And then you put your decimal right there. Which is it. Okay. So now we have that out of the way. Our new equation is 78.50 times our height, which is 15, as you can see from the cone. So now we have to do that. So first of all, we're going to go over here. We're going to do 78. Point fifty times fifteen. Okay, so five times zero is zero. Five times five is twenty-five.
carry the two. Five times eight is forty. Plus two. Plus two. So you get two, carry the four. Five times seven is thirty five. Plus four equals thirty nine. And carry the three. Five times nothing is nothing. Plus three equals three. So then you put your place symbol. And then you do one times zero, which is again zero. One times five, which is five. One times eight, which is eight. And one times seven, which is seven. So now you got Adam again. And you get. Get that out there. Okay. Zero plus zero is zero. Five plus zero is five. Two plus five is seven. Nine plus eight is seventeen. Carry the one. Three plus seven plus equals eleven. Carry the one. And there is. So now we gotta add our decimal place. There's two numbers behind decimal place, so there has to be two numbers behind decimal place in our amber answer. And so now that's left. All we have to do is divide by three. Let's make it down here. You start to write me it'll let you. Okay. So we do divided by three. And we get thirty oops. Reason. Okay, so then we get three hundred ninety two point five, which means our volume of our cone V for volume equals three hundred ninety two point five. Oh, units is centimeters cubed. Don't forget the units. And there it is. Thanks for watching.